So user QZ1EB5JI4O has posted in saying that test method one is not a correct way to do R1 plus R2. You need to disconnect the circuit CPC and connect it to the live and then do your test. The way you have shown, you are testing parallel paths and getting incorrect readings. You should know better. Okay then Quizzy Bob, let's have a look at what a parallel path actually is. A parallel path is something which is metal and offers a return path back to earth. Something like tray, basket, trunkin, an RSJ, or any other extraneous metal parts which could offer a lower resistance in certain other tests. Inspectors should be aware that extraneous conductive parts can have an impact in their testing and in most cases it's just impossible to be able to disconnect all of those extraneous conductive parts. So when it comes to carrying out continuity of protective conductors including main and supplementary bonding, do we need to disconnect the CPC? Well, the answer's no. The impact is absolutely minimal. But don't just take my word for it. Have a look here at Guidance Note 3. You can, of course, disconnect the CPC and test the circuit individually, but you're going to put a bit more wear and tear on that earthing terminal. So there we go. Hope that's answered your question.